I am dying to see if her wardrobe is as rebellious as she is. Everybody make way for the Clintess. Hi, thank you so much for coming. The buzz has been extremely high around the office. I'm really excited for you to be here. on mine. I'm really excited. I was, when I was doing Glam this morning, um, I was so excited to come and show you some of my few pieces. Thank you so much. Now, I see the rack already. I'm extremely excited. Um, I think you should choose maybe your, the one that you want to speak about. Because right. I am overwhelmed. Like, there's a lot of information <laughs> and I don't know which there's one to choose. There's a lot of choose. glam going uh -huh. on here. So, let's start. Um, these two pieces. Okay. Um, basically, this year I landed on the cover um, of the Sunday Circle. Yes, I've seen. Okay. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, thank you to Iggy, who was also on the yes. on the last um, few episodes of Groups. Mm -hmm. And basically, this I bought it last year from a vintage shop online. Okay, cool. Okay, I bought it and left it in my wardrobe. I, I saw it on the model. Cute, I bought it, left it there. Cool. When Iggy and obviously his team approached me mm -hmm. and he showed me the, the scenario where we're going to shoot, um, it felt ideal to wear this because it's, it's very, very Napoleon well. and Napoleon yeah. style. So. It's very Iggy, like when as soon as you mentioned Iggy, yes. I was like, oh my god, perfect fit. So now, I've previously seen you wearing this number yes. at the Love and Music Awards. I'm gonna it's bring my it latest, out. It's my latest red carpet look. And you look amazing. And I got to keep it. <laughs> Which isn't common. <laughs> um, it's by a local designer, mm -hmm. Roser Farrugia. Okay. Um, uh, basically, it's, it was on, on a model and he had to slim it much more um, for my waist. Ooh. was um, a compliment. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, basically, it's from his collection, inspired by Ariana Grande, God cool. is a Woman. And basically, I felt so kind of princessy in yeah. this red, sex and princessy and we went kind of that color that not particularly typical on a red carpet yeah because normally when it's red or pink they try to avoid this color but i think it blended in well it was nice obviously i had i had blonde long hair and i can see you're a big fan of velvet yes i love and it and a big fan of a sparkle um, I hope I can wear it another time, maybe for Christmas or New Year. It would actually really fit yes, for the Christmas season. It. Cool, perfect. Now, these two pieces you've told me go together. Yes. And you wore to do the cabaret at the Orpheum. During the Orpheum Theatre Cabaret. Exactly, amazing. Um, they are both um, designed and created by Fiona Couture. And this is the back, right? And this is the front. Yes, this is the back and this is the front. Cool. Um, um, basically on stage, since it's a cabaret, mm -hmm. I wanted something risky. Um, we launched the first song from the album, which is called Tango for Three. Hence, Amazing. The this tango, tango dress. Yes. It's literally the most perfect like representation of tango. But how do they go together? Um, basically, I had two dancers. Which, which you mentioned were your boys. Yes, my sexy boys. Because <laughs> the Clintess always has to have sexy men. All right? I love it. And basically throughout the song, in the middle of the song, they rip over, rip okay. out this, this dress. So you have a quick change. Yes, Amazing. on stage, and then I, I obviously am um, in this. Me. And I wanted kind of a new dish, kind of say, is she the naked? Elude, is she exactly, naked? exactly. Cool. Now, my absolute favorite in the second, since the second you walked in is this. Now, this is also, I can see Fiona Couture. So it's another Maltese piece. And where did you wear this? I wore it for the Pride March. Okay. And the concert in Piazza San George, yes. obviously after the march. Um, now one thing, we designed this, obviously we went for something bright yeah. to stand out. For sure. And I wore it with um, short shorts and pink hair. Sure. But we came up with this idea and designed it in February, yeah. March, so it was cold. I didn't realize and forgot that Pride is in September. Sure. <laughs> so I was dying. It's, uh, if we want to show the audience, it Inside is all tool. tool, basically. Because basically, if you wear it and you start, it, the it arms bunches up. bunches up, exactly. So, can I try this on? Because every time I need to try on something, it's like my mini obsession. Cool. 
I hope it fits because you're tiny. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll make it fit. I'm out. It's it's a bit uh, it's a bit small for me, but I think we can work it. Oh my god, I'm being styled. How exciting! Oh, you look so cute. <laughs> Does it go? Yes, with black. Oh, diva moment. So when you came in, you were really excited that I was wearing this jumpsuit one piece. And I think it has something to do with this. This overlay skirt. So yes. explain what is this? How did it come about? Basically, it's um, again by Fiona. Amazing. Um, she designed it for me. You're like Fiona's biggest fan. <laughs> I am one of her uh, most darling friends, let's say. Amazing. But she's very talented. Um, she designed it for me for Malta Fashion Week this mm -hmm. year. And basically, it's my go-to skirt when I have something simple. Okay. I wore it twice during Fashion Week and during um, my album launch party. Cool. Basically, if you have something plain, maybe a jumpsuit. It just dresses or, or, the whole thing up. Imagine. It's true, it can actually can go with everything. It goes with everything. And what just. you're wearing today is incredible. Thank also. you. <laughs> Let's go something like that and it literally can make you a princess. Like it's like a, a cape for your bum. Yes. Yes, queen, yes, queen, yes, queen! Now, seeing as you are ever evolving and you really change your look and everything about you often, do you think that really reflects in your wardrobe? And which is like the craziest piece here today or in your wardrobe in general? Like, which do you think is the most controversial you've been? In? I mean, I love being sexy but sophisticated at the same time. Yeah. I mean, um, I can't say this is my favorite or this is my favorite because yeah. they're all cause they're all meant something for a performance or for a sure. carpet. Different moments. Obviously, since I'm coming out from the Loving Music Awards red carpet, it has to be my last one. So, it, it, she's <laughs> yes. my baby at the moment. Amazing. But this this piece, these two pieces are. Um, it's been such an amazing experience during the cabaret, mm -hmm. um, which taught me a lot about cool. being a complete performer. And I can't wait to see your music videos that you have coming yes, up because of your new out album. Very, very soon. And I know that you really go hard with your music videos. That's how people know you. Like you really put a lot of time, effort, production into them. So I can't wait to see what you have but, um, coming. These videos are going to be very hot. Cool. Hot. Thank you so much for bringing all these amazing pieces. I loved meeting you. Now that the Clintess isn't here, we're gonna move on to the segment where I take it or leave it. So, firstly, I would not take home this piece because it doesn't fit me. If it did fit me, I would be taking it home, but this is gonna be a leave it for now. And I would definitely take home this piece. It's not the most extravagant of pieces, but it's the most versatile and the most easy to wear. And thank you guys so much for watching Off The Rails and see you next time.